What's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> I just want to start this video out by saying that I'm really sorry. Uh, whenever I was talking about the new registry and whenever I got really excited about the update and everything coming out, the first thing <laughs> that I told myself that I had to say was that I needed to put a big caveat over all of this, that there were probably going to be bugs because this is a game changing update, that there were probably gonna be issues with the system, that we probably didn't need to prestige our fragments as soon as we possibly could. Um, and I basically didn't do that. I got really excited about the new feature and I didn't say that at all. Um, and I know that that seems very silly and it seems like almost really self-centered to, to say like, oh, it's my fault that the entire community is mad. Like that's obviously not true. That'd be very self-centered and ridiculous to say. But while I was doing that live stream, I think it currently has over 2,500 views. And so I know that there's somebody out there and, and a few people out there, even in comment sections and have in the past video have said, that they went ahead and prestige their fragments and they lost everything. And I have really close friends who are level 60, who have spent a lot of money on this game. And I know that there are a lot of people I've been talking to who have worked on projects for the community who are now not playing the game. And like, it just really sucks. <laughs> and so I'm really sorry. Um, seeing everybody being upset like really bothered me and it really sucks. Okay. That's, that's just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The things that I was looking forward to in this update, um, where the foundables would become more valuable again, like it would, it would make sense for us to continue tracing things that we've seen a thousand times because now we can prestige them beyond the frame that they're contained in now. Progress wasn't an illusion anymore. Like we could actually progress our frames while we're playing, regardless of how many of a specific foundable we have, just because we can, again, prestige those foundables beyond those frames and then paving the way for new stuff. Um, I know the poker fodder put out a video yesterday or something like that about talking about preparing the way for new foundables. And he, and, um, I, and Lynette from Wizard PhD were all in a voice call just talking through this stuff yesterday. And I think that that's what they were trying to do. I think that they were trying to help people catch up um, so they could prepare the way for the new foundables and the new pages and stuff. So I thought that that's what was going to happen. Um, and had I known that this was going to happen, then, you know, um, it would probably be different. I would have told you otherwise. I would have told you to wait because everything seems to be fine now, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I was wrong, and um, I didn't have the right information. Sorry. I'm sorry that uh, I didn't expect it to be bugged, or I expected it to be bugged, but I didn't say anything. I didn't even think about it, because I was honestly just so excited to share the information. Um, and that got, it clouded my judgment and got in the way of me presenting accurate information to the community. And like, that's pretty embarrassing. And I'm sorry. Like, I just am, you know, I am, whether it's my fault that a bunch of people prestiged their pages or not, like I still feel bad for presenting information that wasn't accurate at the time. So, um, I'm sorry if I got you hyped up for this and you wasted your fragments because of something that I said, uh, and, uh, so I'm going to stop moping and moaning now. I'm going to talk about how this actually is supposed to work. Um, I'm sorry if I'm low on energy. I haven't finished my coffee yet. I didn't sleep well last night. That's why I look like a hungover Edgar Allan Poe right now. I just didn't, I don't know. I didn't sleep well last night because I could like, I, a lot of my friends were all through the night DMing me or hitting me up on discord and saying, you know, these are how we feel. These are the feelings that we feel. And this is what we'd like for you to convey to WB Niantic, whatever. So I'm going to jump into this feature now that it appears to be working and try to do my very best to explain what exactly is going on. Um, so 
yeah, sorry, enough of that rambling. I felt like I needed to get that off of my chest. I just felt awful yesterday. I still don't feel 100% great today. I just feel like, um, crap. So there you go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this new feature. Basically, the way that this works, and you can see this on my screen here, is that the green star next to a foundable means that it has been placed. And this is very confusing and it can be sort of counterintuitive. I, I get what they were trying to do with the design, but it is very difficult to, to fully grasp. Like I even now, as I'm trying to explain it, I'm still working through some of the minutia of this. So please bear with me. So what this means on this particular page is that I can place the hourglass foundables for the first frame because I've never prestiged this frame before. So this is a basic frame and as soon as i do this and i place that i get the family xp and now like all of the other foundables on this family it has a green star beside it which means that every single image and every single foundable on this page has been placed so as you can see i'm five out of five with fox i'm seven out of seven with the owl lectern i'm five out of five with the sorting hat now, the important thing to note here is that if you click on Fox right now or the sorting hat or the owl lectern in this circumstance without prestiging the frame, it will appear as though your fragments are not going to be rolling over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prestige the frame if it will let me. And once it carries over, it will look like this. So now. I'm 10 out of 10 for Fox. I'm 14 out of 14 for the Owl Lectern. And I'm 10 out of 10 for the Sorting Hat. So what I can do is I can place these images and what's going to happen is a green sticker will appear. And as soon as I get the Family XP and the Runestone, I can show you. So that's what it looks like. Um, and if I continue to do this, it will zero out. So this is probably something that I shouldn't be doing, but I'm doing it anyways, just to show you guys. So the reason that it looks like you're losing fragments is because it's really rolling those fragments forward to a frame that you can't see yet, which is like not the best design decision. It's very confusing. It makes it look like you're not getting the progress counted. But what it is saying now is that I have all of the fox on this page and i have all of the owl lecterns on this page i even have all of the the sorting hats on this page so when i get nine more hourglasses and nine more dumbledore portraits i will then be able to prestige the entire frame because those two foundables have met the requirements to take everything up to silver so the way that the frames work now is completely different if you're looking at a foundable and it has a green star Basically what that means is just like back in the day when before this update happened, if you had placed a sticker on the page, that's exactly what that means. Doesn't mean anything less, doesn't mean anything more. It's just like you had placed a picture on your registry page and you are waiting on these other two foundables to prestige the frame. Now that is for just the frame itself. The entire frame is waiting on these two foundables, but, but now because I have placed Fox and because I have placed the Owl like turn in the sorting hat, if I encounter those again, then I will be able to see my progress as I'm going forward. So try not to <laughs> think of it in a, the, the way that your brain wants to think it because it's extremely confusing. And I, I like the idea that they were chasing after. I think it's really important because again, like I said, it brings value to these foundables and it makes everything important again. But from the user interface and user friendly aspect of this, it is super confusing. And I like have still trying to wrap my head around exactly what is happening. So we're going to actually go ahead and look at another page really quick, just so you guys can kind of see what the situation looks like. So here, for example, this is a perfect example because my Triwizard Maze page will go up once I get to the, uh, once I catch all the stupid snitches for this freaking brilliant event, I'll be able to place the books and prestige. So there we go. There's our Quidditch Captain Harry Potter. He goes up. That's neat. The Triwizard Cup, that goes up. Neat. And I am all caught up with those guys. They're saying, 
Quidditch captain Harry Potter has been placed. The Triwizard Cup has been placed. The Goblet of Fire I can place again, even though it is already placed. So that is something that you will need to know like in, in, in advance. The things that I'm not doing would be to like click on this image right now because I can't trust it. Maybe I should. Should I do it? Let's just do it. Who cares? This is for science. So now I am zeroed out on the Goblet of Fires, even though I should have more. So I guess that's still broken. Who really knows? If you understand what's going on, please just let me know in the comment section down below because sometimes with these pages it makes sense and sometimes it doesn't. So the image, regardless, has been placed. And again, what this is telling me is that this Tribe Wizard Maze page, once I am done, Placing the books. Once I get three more from the bonus assignment for this, I'll be able to prestige the page. And maybe at that point, they will roll over. Um, I, I'm not positive because it's so muddled and it's so confusing based on what they did with the, uh, the placement of things that you had already placed. So what I'm talking about is if you already had an image placed like Swooping Evil or something like that at the beginning of this update, they were giving you credit for that. So that's part of the reason why it's so confusing. So like, again, like I said, with the dark arts page, let's check this out. So with swooping evil, I got credit for every swooping evil that I had, but because they were saying, all right, if you've placed everything else, you're already going to get to prestige for free, not losing anything. Everything that you've placed will still be placed. And so that is why you're getting weird fragment counts. And that is part of the reason why you're getting things that just don't make sense. And it's very confusing. <laughs> it's very confusing. Um, so I wanted to to kind of walk you through this and the things that I have seen and something that Pokefodder also did in his video um, that I do agree with is basically like, for example, with Sirius Black, I can place him and I'll lose the fragments because I've placed him now and I'm meeting the requirement for the page, and you'll see that now as I prestige up, or as I level up, get a runestone, get some scrolls, that I've placed him, I've placed Hedwig, and so now I'm waiting on Harry Potter, Snape, and of course the uh, advanced potion making book for the fortress there. So again, once you've placed an image, it is placed for that prestige frame, and you're really, basically what I'm getting at here, and I hope that you understand this, or I hope that you even made it to this point in the video. If so, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Make sure that you are playing for foundables at this point. Like you're not really playing for frames. You're playing for the foundables that you need because those will eventually add up to the frames that you need. So in a way, everything has changed, but in a way also nothing has changed because you still are going to need to get those foundables. The only difference is you're able to progress towards, you know, the next level at the same time. So I know this is super confusing. I'm confused. I hope that uh, this video doesn't necessarily teach you everything that you need to know about this feature, but just shows you how confusing this is uh, and how <laughs> how ridiculous this is. Like, I don't I don't know, guys, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm you know what? I probably shouldn't even publish this video. Um, but the first five minutes, I just wanted to, to apologize for everything that happened and I wish that I could change it. Um, I wish that I could make it better, but I mean, I don't know how uh, other than just giving feedback. So continue to give positive and, you know, constructive feedback, um, continue to be nice to each other, just treat each other well. And the community will prevail regardless of the way that the game is going. I'm not giving up on this game. Uh, I told James from Expecto Go, he's not giving up on this game. He had an incredible stream last night that I hope you go watch. Uh, and so, yeah. So anyway, if for whatever reason you're still here, thanks for sticking around and listening to me ramble. Thank you for listening to me and my confusion. Um, I don't know, guys, this update's super weird. I'm going to still play Fortresses. I'm going to still have fun with my friends playing this game. I actually am doing a Fortress Clinic this afternoon in a few hours with James from Expecto Go. So that'll be at 3 Central, 4 Eastern. You can check that out here on my channel. Um, and we'll be going live and doing some Fortresses with hopefully people in chat. We'll be joining Discord, answering questions, whatever it is, uh, just hanging out you know, playing the game and all that good stuff. So thank you for watching. If you appreciated this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. 
as well as clicking the red subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Guys, I hope that we figure out more about this update. I hope that we discover more and it makes more sense over time. Um, for now, it's just going to take some learning. It's going to take me really diving in. And again, I've looked at this registry probably a hundred times since the update and it's still so convoluted and so difficult to really grasp. So I don't know, <laughs> but I love you guys and I thank you for your support. I honestly, I feel like I don't deserve you guys and I will see you uh, in the next video. So until then.